Today I'm going to be showing you what my wife and I take on a three-day backpacking trip. Check it out. Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, if you're into hiking, backpacking, camping, kayaking, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, so you know when we upload new videos. Today we're going to be talking about what my wife and I pack in our backpacks for a three-day trip. So here we go. Uh, try to keep our packs as light as possible. We don't uh, have the most expensive ultralight gear, uh, but we've done the best we can for now. We're just kind of weekend warriors. We don't through hike, so weight isn't quite as much of a problem as it would be if we were doing hundreds or thousands of miles. Uh, so for this three-day trip, I'm going to start over here with the clothes. Uh, I'm taking just my base layers uh, for a night at camp. I'm taking an extra pair of socks in case my other ones get wet. Taking uh, sleep socks and a pair of Ninjinji toe socks to use just in case I decide to use them. Uh, my wife basically has the same thing here. She has her base layers, she has her extra pair of socks, her sleep socks, her Ninjinjis. Uh, she takes an extra uh, shirt with her, a little t shirt just in case. Uh, we got our Sawyer Squeeze water filtration system, our camp shoes. We've got our Outdoor Vitals sleeping pads, uh, first aid kit, Sawyer, a keratin insect repellent. This stuff is phenomenal for keeping the bugs off of you. And we've treated all of our gear, all of our uh, clothing with dimethrin, which is awesome to keep off ticks, kills ticks and mosquitoes and everything else, anything that gets on your clothing. And also our shoes, our gaiters, etc. Uh, we've got a couple <coughs> titanium coffee mugs. Couple collapsible bowls. We've got our headlamps. I've got extra pack here with this is actually holds. We keep a couple of Sawyer minis just as a backup in case our other water filter fails. Um, we've got uh, our cook system right here. That's complete with the uh, cook pot, the stove, full canister of gas, lighter, etc. Carry an extra can of gas just in case. We've got our camp towels. Um, this time we're actually going to be uh, hiking through Halton Creek, so I'll have access to showers the second night. So that's why we're bringing our camp towels. Normally we don't bring them because it's just extra weight. We've got our uh, stuff for our toiletries in case we have to go to the bathroom in the woods, as we will. A uh, little shovel, our little cool, clean, portable bidet. We've got our trekking poles we always bring in every hike. <clears throat> Uh, we've got our rain gear, we've got rain, uh, rain jackets, rain skirt, my wife's got a bug net in case the bugs get too much, you can't stand the bugs. A uh, pack of uh, fire starters, one for each night. We've got our hydration tubes that go on our packs, that go on our water bottles. Uh, I have, actually I have a video on how to make these. Got our tent, Dan Durston X-Mid 2P. We've got our bear bag right here. It's our food bag, bear bag. We have to keep all of our food in that. Got my hanging kit. Got two ditty bags, one for each of us. I carry most of the electronics, extra batteries for the GoPro in it. She carries uh, all the toiletries, uh, toothpaste, toothbrushes, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, over here we got our sleeping bags. And we're only taking our Kelpie Galactica 30 degree bags because it's not going to get below probably 50 degrees this time. Um, we do put pack liners in our packs, very important, especially in Florida, because it looks like we're going to run some rain on this hike too. Uh, we use the Nylofluum pack liners. Uh, these are cheap, they're very lightweight, and they help protect your gear. You put that inside your pack to line it first, put all your gear in it, roll it up, protects it from the rain. Uh, other than that, um, our sit pads, which are attached to our backpacks, and uh, that's about it. So if you have any other questions about uh, specifically what our gear is, we do have a link in every one of our videos that you can go to that, that will tell you all the gear that we own, all the gear we use, recommend, etc. Um, my Granite Gear 60 pack is the one I'm using this trip. Uh, she's got her Osprey 43 liter kite pack. She enjoys that very much. I have a Osprey 48, but I'm choosing to Try it the Granite Gear 60 this time. It's a newer pack for me. Uh, I think it's a little more comfortable for me, especially in the heat. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, 
So other than food and water, this here would be our what's considered base weight. This is everything minus food and water. Base weight's actually supposed to not include fuel too because that's consumable, but I include that in my base weight, just not the food and actual water. We usually carry about two to three liters of water and uh, carry food. Foods, food weight is gonna vary from person to person. It depends on what you're eating, how much you eat, how much extra food you're taking. We try to plan things out very well and just take exactly what we need for the trip. So let's pack all this up. We'll put it in the packs and weigh it out and see what our base weight is. So we got them all loaded up, checked them out in the scale, a luggage scale, digital one, very uh, handy to have so you know your pack weight. Uh, and uh, my wife's ended up weighing out about 14.3 pounds and mine ended up weighing about 16 pounds. So I'm figuring with food and water somewhere between 20 to 25 pounds each we can get it to, which uh, we don't like to go over 25 pounds, that's just our personal preference. Um, the packs, both these packs work very well with that kind of weight. Uh, on the front side, we uh, have uh, our Garmin inReach in case of emergencies and be able to send people messages, let them know we made it to camp okay. Very good thing to have. And uh, our water bottle, our camp shoes on the back. Uh, we've got the same type of setup with camp shoes in the back, our cooler cloth. Uh, if you don't know what cooler cloth is, Google it. <laughs> So we should be all set for this trip. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. We'll answer any of your questions about specific gear, our cook system, sleep system. Um, if you'd like to see a specific video on one of those topics, please let us know and we'll do our best to get it up for you. Till next time, we see you outside.